Hello and welcome to Castles and Legends. Today we are at our second stop at the Lake District. This is Ray Castle. Uh, hopefully you can see it kind of just behind me there. Now, Ray Castle, it might look like a gothic fortress there, but don't be too fooled by all those towers and turrets. It is actually a Victorian neo-gothic house. The house was constructed in 1840 for a Dr. James Dawson, who was a retired Liverpoolian surgeon. But let's go take a look around and I can tell you a bit more history. The house was constructed in 1840 for Dr. James Dawson. However, it was built using his wife, Margaret's inheritance from a gin fortune. James also built the nearby Ray Church. One mistaken belief is that Margaret Dawson hated Ray Castle and refused to live there. Apparently this is not true at all. There was actually another Margaret Dawson that lived in the area and it was she who did not like the castle one bit. It is thought that Ray Castle was designed by John Jackson Lightfoot, but he sadly did not see the castle's completion as he died from alcoholism. The more experienced architect, H.P. Horner, completed the design. The castle appears to be full of towers, turrets and battlements. However, a lot of the battlements and so on are not even accessible. And what looks like a tower from the outside most are actually just part of the room inside. James Dawson spared no expense in trying to make the castle look the part. He even built his own fake ancient ruins in the grounds. When William Wordsworth visited the castle, he stated that the castle added a dignified feature to the interesting scenery in the midst of which it stands. Wordsworth also left his mark on the grounds by planting a mulberry tree in 1845, which remains to this day, and I'll show you it later in the video. James and Margaret Dawson did not have any children, and after James's death in 1875, his nephew, Edward Preston Rawnsley, inherited the castle. Edward's cousin, Hardwick Rawnsley, took the post as vicar at Ray Church. You may recognise this name, as Hardwick Rawnsley is one of the three founding members of the National Trust. Ray Castle is also linked to another prominent figure in the creation of the National Trust and a world-famous writer and illustrator, Beatrix Potter. A young 16-year-old Beatrix Potter spent her summer holidays at Ray Castle back in 1882. Over the summer, her parents entertained many esteemed guests at the castle including Hardwick Rawnsley. His passion and views on the need to preserve the natural beauty of the Lake District had a long-lasting effect on the young Beatrix. He was already a published author and took a great deal of interest in her drawings, later on encouraging her to publish her first book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. We can see here a couple of family photographs taken at the castle by Beatrix's father, Rupert Potter. In 1929, Ray Castle was gifted to the National Trust and has been utilised for a number of purposes since. It was a youth hostel for a short time and offers to the Freshwater Biological Association between 1931 to 1951, a training college the Merchant Navy Radio Officers between 1958 to 1998. In 2011, 
It opened up as a hotel, but after a successful trial opening the castle up to the public, the National Trust decided to permanently turn Ray Castle into a visitor attraction for all to enjoy. We really enjoyed having a little look around Ray Castle. Obviously there's no furniture and things like that, but it's still very nice and very interesting. Now we took the guided tour, which gave us access to rooms on the first floor and told us a bit of extra history. It was really good. So thank you very much, National Trust Tour Guide. Okay, I think that's probably all for now. So thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on our next adventure.